What's up guys, in today's video I'm gonna show you how I work out my upper body and the first exercise I'm gonna do guys is front lever raises mainly because I don't do it that often anymore but I'm gonna go back to my old roots and perform all the exercise that I would like to be stronger at and the front lever, the full front I already have it, I can do it but you know when you have a skill you need to get stronger at it by doing variation of it you know you don't need to do full front lever every day of course that's one method to be stronger at it but the accessory work you know the front lever raises the 360 pull and so on that way you get stronger and when i'm performing my 5x5 five five right now i pick a variation and i focus on my lats when doing so I make sure my arms are straight, I'm pulling from the lats and not using any assistance from the swing or bending my arm a little just because you do this exercise and it's an easier variation that doesn't mean you need to cheat on it, you know? You're only cheating yourself right now if you do that but you will see guys when I'm done with this exercise this was the first exercise I've done that day on that routine and my back was already pumped a lot and but what I mean by a lot is by my own standard and my on my own physique it's really pumped <laughs> but yeah you get what I mean the next exercise guys I'm gonna talk about I will have a tutorial on the channel soon enough I only need to film a couple more exercise on how I did it how I got to this point the ring assisted and stand push-up guys this is a tough one if you want to do this workout you can do that you can swap them out for pipe push-up and so on but I will show you in the future when the vid is dropping how to get strong enough to do a ring and stand or what exercise to do in order to get to that level so be on the lookout for that on my channel drop uh, oh, click the notification bell if you haven't already you will see it soon enough just a little bit of the tutorial right now on the screen so you want to be on the lookout if that interests you the next exercise i want to talk about guys it's because the ring chest flies when you see me doing them you see me doing them with straight arm right but on my older videos guys you've probably seen me do it with bent arms so if you're not that strong enough if you're just starting out on the rings i suggest you do the same because if you do it with a slow tempo like i'm showing you right now eight to ten reps two or three sets your chest will be sore regardless of what form you're using because if you do them with the straight arm and you're not ready you might risk an injury so don't be like that and perform it with the bent arm this is just a bit of advice so you don't enjoy yourself and so on and the next exercise after that guys the pelican curl negative i will talk about it why i do only three reps because i've used and i'm only using low reps on this exercise why because if you do it with a slow tempo eight seconds on this video your biceps will be pumped regardless of the low reps and this is a tough one guys this is not a joke if you are performing this exercise you will know this is this sucks even on the grip guys your hands will burn so perform it with low reps and multiple set and just on the way down count to eight when you are at the bottom and you will see massive improvement into the biceps guys your guns will be popping so you don't have to tell me more you will thank yourself yet later in the long run so when you're doing this exercise guys you want to keep your arms close to your body and just let yourself drop slowly fight it fight it fight it as long as you can and you will see guys your biceps will be pumped just from those three reps alone so yeah try it out and see how it goes for yourself if you want to do this workout as well you can swap some of the exercise as well if that's too hard or too easy i don't know why you are watching me then 
The next exercise, guys, false grip rows. Why I'm doing them with the false grip? It's because false grip training sucks, it's boring, and you don't want to have a session only of that. So if you're like me, you do them in your workout every day a little bit, and you will not suffer from not performing enough false grip because of that. Why? Because if you do false grip pull up, false grip rows, and so on every workout, your force grip will be decent and you will perform almost every exercise with it without suffering for, from not enough force grip training. So be like me, do a little bit every day and you will thank yourself as well in the long run with that. And guys, here's a little bit of the ring and stand tutorial that will be dropping soon. So be on the lookout for that on my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the notification bell. Like, so like, comment and even share it with your friends. And I will see you the next time I upload next week. Peace out and bye.